Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hub Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we go on with this uh, series on uh, Makam, on different um, Makams. And after discussing, um, we started with Rust and then we came to Ushak. Now we are talking about Kurdi. And um, this, this, this series is, is kind of a more, um, we, we go a little bit more into the, the actual makam because before, in the lessons before, we, we only talked about uh, tetra and pentachords, um, like more uh, like, uh, maybe it was a bit more like abstract. And now we, we just take a look how these tetra and pentachords um, um, of, of the, I mean, um, um, function or, or uh, um, how they're behaving in 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 the actual uh, in the actual makam. So you have this um, today, like Kurdi, we have like a Kurdi tetra and pentachord, and this is um, actually like a Phrygian um, thing. So it's very connected to Phrygian. It's, it's I mean, it's Phrygian in a way, but some li little microtonal things we will um, talk about, and. Um, so you have this tetra and pentachord, but you also have the, the kurdi makam. And when, when we say like makam kurdi, then of course it's, uh, we, we already, we know that the, the whole kind of scale, because like when we play a kurdi, um, we, do not, we do not stick to a tetra or pentachord, but, but we go on and we just, in the, in the way we, we, we are looking for the, for the same makam name, like, like Kurdi, makam Kurdi, because um, I think that's the most uh, connected um, or the most logical or natural uh, makam, um, which is actually related to the Kurdi tetra or pentachord. So we, we just um, um, take, in a way, we take a look what additional notes um, there are to, to form the octave of this makam. Um, how this tetra and pentachord normally proceed to uh, to uh, make up an octave, and also we am talking about um, <clears throat> what these makams uh, also are doing, on, on which notes they, they they really stay maybe longer, or what kind of other tetra pentachords or makams they they show. So the, how they behaving and and what what they are usually. Um, doing and and we, we keep this to a really minimum like 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 to to only talk about what is like um what you yeah what you sometimes when you say you play kurdi that you really have to have to do these things you know you have to you have to show this or this uh this um makam tetra pentachord or this kind of a color um, to really um, to really have this 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 curly makam actually, but of course I mean with all of them um, um, you can just play the tetra and pentachord and every everybody knows okay that's 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 curly I mean um, so you, you do not really have to play the whole thing but um, we are as I said we are looking for uh, what um, if we play with a certain tetra and pentachord, if we feature now this this kurdi, or we want to play in kurdi, that what what is the most natural note choice we we have to we have to um, add or we have to look for what, how it's like expanding this tetra and pentachord most naturally in the Turkish classical music, of course. Um, okay, so um, let's get, get right into that. And by the way, there's a PDF again, uh, of course, in the description below. You find the link to the PDF, and um, so you have uh, the things written um, out. It's not very much actually in this this time, but of course, um, if you if you if you are more serious, maybe on on this makam. Um, to, to learn more about this makam and Turkish classical music, it would be a good idea, I think, to to always um, download and print out maybe these these um, these different PDFs of each makam that you have a kind of a reference um, later on, and also you have something where you can maybe make make notes later on when you go more more into that, and so you already have a kind of a structure. But of course, this also helps. Uh, um, I mean, this also supports my um, channel, Guitar Academia. So also very cool okay, thanks all right so um 
Security, as we also said with, with the other Makams, has also like a Yerinde, has a place where it's normally um, constructed on or where, where the root is placed in the, in the, in the actual um, tonal material which, you, uh, which is used in the Turkish classical music, these 24 um, notes of like practice. And uh, this note is A, so it's, it's built usually on A. So we already have like, like, like Rust, we had Rust, which is built on G. And then we had um, Ushak, which is built on A, and which is actually using the same notes um, of Rust, because G Rust has this a little bit lowered B flat, and Ushak has this little bit lowered B flat. So on the second degree of Ushak, it's a, it's a little bit lowered uh, major third. And now when we go to Kurdi, it's, it's really connected to Ushak also because um, it's, um, it's actually just this, 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 this lowered major third uh, gets even lowered to a minor third. And, and, and the rest of the notes are, are basically um, the same. Okay, um, so, and Kurdi is built, as I said, on, on, um, on A usually in the, in the Turkish classical music, the Yerinde, the most, I mean, the, the, its place. It doesn't mean that you can't play it on any other notes, but of course, be careful. Um, in the Turkish classical music, it's not an equal, equally spaced tonal system, yeah? But we talked about this actually in the last lesson. Um, just just briefly, you you can only there. It's it's like limited how how on, on which notes you you actually can transpose um, this tetrapentachord or this whole uh, makam. It's it's uh, so the actual notes which we use in Turkish classical music are not um, spaced equally. Um, so there, the distance is varying, so we, we, we can't really uh, do everything on every note, like we, we do in, in Western music in um, this uh, equally tempered 12-tone uh, system we have in, in the West. In the West. Um, all right, so um, what uh, Kurdi is, yeah, is... is, is um, has its place on A, but we here on Guitar Academia, we mostly try to, to, uh, um, to transpose everything to E. Yeah, so we have a low, low E also as an additional kind of a root, drone, comping thing. And also um, um, transposing everything to E, putting everything to E um, is a great idea. Um, that we actually compare can can compare all these different things. So also we can compare like 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 just like uh, Western things like E minor tonality, E major tonality, also with these different um, with these different makams and ragas and and so on. So our most uh, basic, most natural root on the guitar is E. So we go for that. Okay, and if we take Kurdi, we have actually, um, then we have a um, Phrygian tetrachord. So it's like E, F, G, A. And we have like a minor, minor um, pentachord. And minor pentachord is what, what it's like, it's like, um, it's actually Buselik. It's called Buselik. When you have a, like a minor tetra or pentachord, you call that uh, Buselik. That's that one. Or and that's uh, like like almost almost the same um, like intonation as we we have in the Western um, in in our equal uh, twelve tone um, equal temperament. And um, <clears throat> the thing is, uh, with, with these Kurdi and with also with Busulik, they only consist of, of the intervals of, of 9, comma, and uh, 4, comma. And 9, comma, this is uh, also this interval um, has a name also, but it's abbreviated also with, with T. Yeah, it's T, Tanin, or something like that. And then uh, we have we have B for for this four com, um, comma um, interval. 
So actually it's like T, oh sorry, it's like B, T, 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 B, T, T. And these, 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 these four, uh, four comma um, and, 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 and nine comma uh, distances, they actually quite match quite well with, a, with this, um, with the equal um, temperament we have in, 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 in European classical music, because um, I mean there are some some uh, some some macams like it's it's actually like like Kurdi, Busalik and uh, Charga, which are are really only built constructed by using these two intervals. So in a way like just whole tone and half tone, half um, half steps. Whole steps and half steps, and um, yeah, there's still some 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 little like like just maybe like two four uh, cent or even like up until ten maximum like 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 ten eleven um, cent like like differences actually. Um, but we will talk about <clears throat> we will talk about that um, that very soon here now. Um, so we have Kurdi. <laughs> Kurdi is Phrygian, tetrachord, and Busilik. <coughs> Sorry, Busilik, which is a minor pentachord. So the, the octave um, is complete, and in this case we have framework two happening here because the gütschli, the most dominant note, is this connection note between these two tetrapentachords, and that's A. Yeah? So, so we, we in a way we, we, we show this A really a lot. Maybe I mean it's it's um, maybe we show it sometimes even more than the, the than the than the um, the karar the, the root of the, the makam, but at least like um, it's it's the next the next most important note um, after the the karar after the tonic the root. <laughs> So what we're doing actually, we, we show really often, we show really often this. This minor um, quality, A minor in this case, A busily. And then. Resolution. This this actually takes some time un, until the ear understands that. I, I remember when I um, I started with with this, this Turkish um, music, Turkish classical music with these makams. Then I really felt sometimes, oh, actually, hmm, now we are um, now we are uh, at the dominant. We we to to finish this piece, we have to go to the to the tonic. But actually, the dominant was the tonic, so to speak, and that is. Um, that is also um, has very much to do actually with the, with the framework also, yeah. Because the framework tends to tends to uh, give um, give a like this gravitational force, this this attract attractive att attraction that that actually like. The other notes, the the, the actual tonic notes, the 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 karar, the e, actually wants to wants to resolve to the a. Yeah, that has to do with the overtone. I mean, with the harmonic series and gravitational forces and so on. So, so in a way, it's a little bit maybe. Um, you can say these these makams um, also the same as too with with ragas actually that that um, that you you. There are some ragas which really emphasize the, the force and which which where you um, but actually that's a, that's a different story. Just uh, briefly, it's it's just uh, it's everything is connected. Um, so and when when you have this this kind of always like also this this a and you 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 have the feeling of okay that that could be actually home home base this could be our root but then you resolve it to e and you stay there and you understand ah okay 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 ah I see okay uh, yes right we are and th that's the root then of course the whole makam gets a more um, not so so much like like 
grounded, you know? I mean, it's, I think Kurdi is really profound. It's really like a, a kind of uh, serious, uh, um, more darker, of course, um, um, Makam has this, this, this atmosphere and this, this Phrygian atmosphere. But um, it's in a way, um, maybe it's not so much uh, so, so stable, you can say. Yeah, but that's just um, maybe don't take to, don't take it too serious what I what I'm thinking about that. But it's it's like this the theory with theory I, I um, in a way I made up with uh, um, framework one and two and three also um, that um, yeah these different kind of qualities um, these frameworks have actually. And then we have the, the leading tone, um, which is um, called Yedin in Turkish classical music, and that's D. That's a um, that's a whole step below um, the karar, the um, the root. Our um, seyir, so the how this this makam is is uh, like progressing, is um, um, chikiji or inichi chikiji. That that means. Um, it is either <clears throat> um, it's either um, ascending, ascending, or ascending and descending, and that actually means either it's uh, it's um, behaving like um, very strongly around the karar, the lower region of the karar, and even I mean liking more the, the lower notes, and also um, go maybe a little bit below this note. And um, kind of tries tries to avoid the, 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 the notes which are above the octave. Yeah, that's that's um, chikichi, so um, ascending, and then um, this other um, chikichi inichi or inichi chikichi. What what's actually the same is um, we are um, mainly around our gütschlü, around our um, a. <coughs> And from from there on, we um, explore like this um, makam in both directions. So we, we move down to the karar and up to the octave or mean or however you want to call that. Um, it's like, um, yeah, so you, you go into both directions um, because you're actually you are in the middle of the um, whole scale of the octave, kind of in the middle. And so you are always like like here in, in, in A in a way. So I can actually go high. This this gütschlü the, the A gütschlü the most dominant tone the most strong and prominent tone and then I can I can go up and, and down or I'm I'm thinking more about like like um, this this chikichi this um, this um, ascending thing so ascending means actually I start low I start in the lower region around the karar and then um, my my only possibilities to to move any further um, can only be uh, ascending. Yeah, so that's actually this uh, this 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 concept. Where do I start? Okay, when I start there, um, I also have like energy. This is like if I I really am um, start and 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 show most prominent kind of all the time the the octave region. Um, I really enjoy also to to go down, of course. Um, I mean to go to go up to 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 explore this this region a bit more around the octave. But at the end, actually, I have to I have to uh, fall. I have to descend to really end my 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 uh, taksim or my makam 
composition or whatever on the carrar. Yeah, so the, the carrar is actually lower than my starting point or the the area which I'm 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 really um, exploring and and really um, elaborating. Um. Okay, so um, that's a basic structure. You also see there is like a um, like we uh, there is one one. Uh, one thing we can we can do like a, like a kind of an asmar karar thing actually it's like we we can also um, show busilik from D and if we have um, D um, busilik pentachord it's actually we using the same notes as 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 a kurdi so it's 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 like it's in a way like Busselik um, is actually just started with, with Jeden. Uh, it's, it's just the same, it has the same notes, so it doesn't give, give us any new notes. But of course a new, um, a new kind of temporary tonal center. And with Busselik we, we actually take the whole, we can take the whole um, octave. So the whole octave of Busselik would be um, also to, to have, in this case, a Kurdi tetrachord on A. So it gives us, um, it gives us a new tone. Yeah? So if we, if we have Busselik, Of, of Busilik, of, of like like Shena's Busilik, I mean the major um, major sevens or like this half step um, below the um, below the karar of Busilik. And then go back of course to 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 um, to um, to Kurdi to E Kurdi and and. When I had lessons with, with Nuri Karadimili, with this Ut ma master here in Berlin, um, actually there, he talked a lot about that, that this is actually, it's very important to understand the character, of course, of the makam and also of the tetrapentachords, but really like every makam is like a, a beautiful picture, a beautiful whole thing, like a character or like a person. And, um, and then he told a lot about the art of how, of how to connect these different like tetra pentachords, how to go from one uh, um, temporary root to the next. Um, this this progressions. How how it's not just you, you show that and then you show that. It's really about about the art um, how you approach a certain new territory and how you you come there. You know. And um, yeah, that's that's actually this kind of an art. This is this is um, <clears throat> this is really like something you you can just. Um, I think you can. It's endless, you know. What, what you can do, how which kind of of macams of of tetrapentachords you can approach, and which directions you can go, how you can can approach them, and and um, there are a lot of. I mean, there are really a lot of possibilities. Okay, um, yeah, so, but actually, um, when, we, when we have Kurdi Makam, this is more, maybe more like extra. I think, um, what, as far as I know, you don't have to, to show this, this re you really show like, like this Busilik um, octave, you know, of, of like D Busilik pentachord and, and A, a Kurdi tetrachord, I think. Um, you can also live without that, uh, play without that, and still you have a, a nice like like Kurdi. Of course, in a way, um, like this, this whole concept of makam is like really um, also built on the idea to to uh, to develop, to to explore, to go to different. Um, um, kind of tonalities or to introduce different notes that's actually um, the beauty also of that that differs 
with with raga where you sometimes play just all the time with with one one scale without changing any note i mean some ragas are are like that and um or it, or it, you, you can compare that with when you are in the western music when you when you have a actually a chord progression and then you just show one chord all the time you know you know you are in 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 in, in uh, c minor uh key tonality and you say okay this is a piece um in in c minor from mozart for example and but this only is C minor chord all the time, so that's actually not there. I think there's not any Mozart piece which uses one chord for the whole whole time because it's about changes. It's about changing. That's actually the the uh, one of the the, the most um, important things which develops the music in classical music and also in in Makam music. So um, one thing is. What is actually nice and what you should what you should do that it sounds really beautiful and what you can do and what kind of other regions you can explore and which other notes you can show which are really nice in that makam, but the other other thing where we are more considered here is is really about um, um, how this tetra and pentachord of these basic uh, this basic tetra and pentachords we have um, I mean we talk about all different uh, tetra and pentachords there are in the Turkish classical music um, how they actually make up a whole scale or how they in a way how they normally behave like, like very directly very so we, we, we play this tetra and pentachord and then what 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 it usually does then how is it um, like expanding? And and with with some it's it's just an expansion. It's some like like okay we just add another tetra or pentachord on top and then we have the whole scale and that's it. With others it's a bit more tricky. With others it's a bit more tricky. They're more um, they're more. I mean they're connected differently. Like like Sega and uh, um, like um, yeah like um, Saba. Musam, Mysteriar, and these these are really like a um, bit bit different. So Kurdi is really straightforward, also. Okay, now let's let's talk about this intonation thing. As I said, it's it's really like this T and B, this whole half step, um, nine comma and uh, four comma is really very connected to the, the Western equal twelve tone equal temperament. But there are like slight differences. Some people would say you don't have to care about about that. It's just so small these differences. It's just also maybe like Turkish musicians would say. Maybe I even hear I don't hear an, uh, uh, a difference. Yeah, I mean I, I don't think so. But but I, I think there are some some uh, also good musicians which would say just play it straight yeah of course it's it's very near so why why you have to work hard to to just have a, a very little like a few cent difference um, and remember cent is like we have hundred cent um, for each half step so if we have a half step from from C to C sharp for example in, in the Western music we, we divide that into hundred cent but we talked about everything um, the beauty Actually, I mean, the knowledge about these small, slight, very slight differences in, in intonation is really interesting um, to, to, to explore more. Because in Kurdi, this minus second degree is actually like nine cent lower. So we start we start with with the interval of, of like it's called like B it's like four comma and when we go four comma it's actually like um, just a little I mean like like 90 around 90 and a half um, cent um, <clears throat> distance and 100 cent would be like a, a half step actually in, 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 in the Western tonal system and um, so it's a little bit lower. Yeah, it's like like a kind of uh, like uh, nine percent uh, lower or um, yeah nine 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 cent 
send lower this this uh, this f actually and um, this is something we we can we can do quite quite easily with pushing pushing the string and <clears throat> we can do that very 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 good on the a string we go to this f we take all our fingers on on the string and we try to um, i mean we 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 press but at the same at the same time we do not try to press too much only what's necessary because if we press we make this note higher and that's actually the opposite of what what we want so we try to have a kind of an um, <clears throat> like a firm firm grip but not um, not press too hard and then we push we grip i mean, I mean we, we 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 press and then we really push this string towards the bridge and this is um, when i do that and try my best to do it very much so <laughs> That's already much, much too much for like nine cent. Nine cent is just a little. So I do not have to work that hard here in this case. And I can also play it together with my E, with my low E. Yeah, so to, to really have this. And that's actually the, the thing is, when, when we do that, when we, you, you should experiment for yourself, but also just, just listen for now. Um, when we do that, actually, we, we create a complete different atmosphere, a really complete different room as if we would just play like, like Phrygian in this um, equal temperament system we have on the, on the guitar normally with the frets. Um, there's also this possibility, and I, I play you, just in a second, I, I play you, uh, I show you the difference that you really get, get into that. Um, another thing we, we can also add to that, which is also done, I mean, which is done in Indian raga music, is playing an andolan. Andolan means we, we, we have a sort of, a sort of vibrato happening a very slow vibrato which is going into the direction of the shruti of the microtone so if a, a note is is um the intonation is actually a bit lowered then also like our our andolan our vibrato goes more into the lower direction and the other way around it's also same so actually we can we can do it a bit more than 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 uh to 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 in a way to to um to make this emotion even stronger, you can say, by really bending the string to the note and then yeah, to have this kind of vibrato which is actually going lower. So okay, I, I will play you some some um, a little bit of, of like Kurdi um, um, and I, I I show you this this lowered um, minor second lowered second degree and um, then I will also play this this um, normal like twelve tone equal temperament F so the normal half step for you and you will you will actually it will be kind of a shock <laughs> because it sounds so bad <laughs> let's go for that <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, now I play this 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 equal temperament F. You hear this? Let me just play the other this this other version again. Turkish intonation. But something like really drastical is changing. This 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 lowered F um, is is just much more soft and 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 round and and um, <clears throat> in a way fits more together with a with a with a with a root. Equal temperament F um, is just a little like like hard. It's like a, a little bit harsh or like like um, a little bit out of place. Um, I think it's it's very like like in a, in a way like kind of brutal. You know, I mean this is just like like this. It's it's a little you know it's just a little difference. But but if you really concentrate on that, if you really go into that, you know. It's so much fun to play this 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 lowered uh, minus second, you know, because you're creating this this atmosphere, and you can stay there very long. Actually, you can really go go there. <laughs> equal temperament ah. I feel I have to move yeah I feel I have to move on there is some some tension going on which which is not so so nice to to, to stay there in a way and that's not only because of the pitch, because of the minor second has a tension, of course. Um, but it's very different. These, these these kind of tensions are very different. And that's actually my theory is that in the in the Western music, this idea of of constantly moving to the next chord, to the next chord, next color, next color, also has something to do with that actually like staying like longer on like an interval or this this on the major third or now here on this minor um, second of the scale. Um, is really like it's not nice. It's not. It's just. It's. It's this. This whole tonal system we have, this twelve tone equal temperament, is meant for 
moving and modulating and, and going to the next next uh, next chord. Yeah, that's the way it's ex actually constructed. There is no pop song or, or any classical music song which stays on one um, on one uh, one scale or one uh, root um, on one root on one chord like for the whole whole time. But it's possible in, in, in like in Indian music, or also in, in yeah also in Makam music you can you can really stay stay very long on these these notes and they are beautiful, yeah. Um, so it's a different approach. I think uh, staying staying with these uh, it's I mean with with like these 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 intonations also of Shruti and in Indian classical music and um, Turkish Makam music you you. Um, they are more inviting to, to stay, to stay there and, and really go into these different intonation uh, um, variations to create this, this atmosphere, which is, which is really not there at all in, 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 in like, like Western 12 tone equal temperament. Okay, I think this was a kind of really in interesting lesson. If you really got this, maybe this, this, this difference and this idea about intonation and what it creates, and uh, if you if you actually experience this the first time, I'm I'm actually really happy to 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 uh, to uh, to give you this uh, that you really I think this will really uh, also uh, this idea will really grow in your in your mind. When when you when you go on with with music and thinking about it and, and hearing music and uh, yeah yeah so uh, yeah so I, I I really hope it was like a, um, it was helpful for you you can you can do something with this uh, material with this topic I presented today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to get notifications if a new video will be released which is the case every week. Also, you can donate, go down in the description below. There is a link where you can go to my website, whoopildenbrand.com, Guitar Academia inside page on this side. And then there is a button where you can donate to support my, my channel and to support the whole work to get more involved here. And uh, so we can, we can go, go on. Still a lot of stuff to cover here. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. My name is Hubilden.